Okay, I'm Mari Carmen Collado. I'm from the National Research Council in Spain and I'm doing research on breast milk microbiota and its influence in infant health. The microbiome colonization is quite important for the neonatal health because uh, it shapes uh, the, the functionality of the microbes, but also this uh, microbiota colonization is in parallel to the immune system uh, maturation. Then both of them are quite important, are any alterations or disruptions in the microbial colonization and the immune system maturation would be put the baby in risk of developing a risk of non-communicable diseases. The, the breast milk influence the microbial colonization uh, because support the initial inoculum, that maternal transfer through the livery, but also because the breast milk also is the most is one of the most important sources of the microbes during the uh, early period. Then breast milk transfer microbes, but also other components that also help to those microbes to colonize the intestine and also to create a, an adequate environmental uh, permeability and environmental homeostasis in, in the neonate. Then all these microbes shape the gut microbiota in the neonates. Then it's quite important. Yes, the breast milk is a, is a complex fluid that not just contains microbes, also contains other bioactive compounds uh, as oligosaccharides, uh, proteins and immune components. And also we found that the uh, yeast are present there and it was a really castle finding because we were working always with bacteria but we found the, the yeast and this yeast should also play an important role in the colonization of the yeast in the, in the neonatal gut because you, we already know that there are interactions between microbes and also yeast and fungi in the gut. The breast milk is a unique uh, food for our babies and beyond the nutrition there is a unique composition of the bioactive compounds and specific microbes are transferred from, from mothers to the neonates through the lactation and also this is thought that um, this is different one from one mother to other mother and also we found that the geographical location shape as well the composition and there is not the same microbiota profile in mothers from China, from South Africa, from Finland and from, from Spain. Then this is uh, really important and we need to take into account for future studies. How we can modulate the milk microbiota would be open new possibilities to develop strategies to, to, to modify this bacteria. But the, the, oh, sorry, the, most, impo the most important uh, tool is the diet. Maternal diet uh, shape the macronutrients in milk, but also we identify that shape as well the microbiota composition and also the, the other components in milk and all these things are going to, to be transferred to, to the, ne in the neonate. For example, we already know that obese mothers, the, their milk have higher pro-inflammatory compounds and a dysbiotic microbiota that is going to be transferred to the neonates. Then if we can modulate the microbiota during the gestation and lactation through the diet, maybe we can rebalance or balance those compounds that are going to be transferred to our neonates to try to provide the best microbial exposition because it is known that alterations in the microbial composition during early life are linked with higher risk of disease later in life.